I started this silly ritual with my mom when she ended up in ICU. I taught her how to make a heart with her hands. Have you ever done this? She'd never done this before. And at the end of every visit, on my way out, we'd make this heart to each other. After she was transferred to hospice and my kids could start to visit her, we continued this ritual, often with a lot of giggling as my mom tried to get it right. Even as she got weaker and struggled with simple tasks, she wanted to make that heart for us. Until one day, she couldn't. My mom was an incredible fighter. Her fighting spirit never faltered. Even after all she went through, and she went through a lot, she kept fighting. Despite her fear, despite everything, she kept fighting. And the thing is, she was fighting for us. The only thing that ever mattered to her was people, was her people was all of us. Even to the end, her only concern was us, that we were safe, that we were okay, that we would and could carry on. My mom never complained, not of pain, not of fear, not of suffering, not a single complaint ever. She had every reason to. No one would have faulted her that, but she never did. She had nothing but smiles for anyone to ca who came in to see her at the end. A few days before she passed, my mom said to me, I don't understand what's happening. Do you want me to explain? I asked. She said, yes. I said, okay. Mom, I said, you've been fighting for a really long time. And now your body is so tired and wants to stop. If you want to stop fighting, I said, you can stop. If you want to let go, you can let go. I said, we give you permission to do that. Do you understand, Mom, I asked? And she nodded yes, she understood. And I told her that we're all safe. We're all okay. You don't have to worry about any of us. And I said those things to her because I knew that even then, even though it was her lying in that bed, even then her only concern was us, that we were okay, that we weren't hurting. She was always putting us first. That's the kind of fighter she was. That's the true measure of her fighting spirit, that it was never about her. It was always about the people she surrounded herself with and the community she had created. My mom fought for a community she built on love. And she was surrounded by that love right to the very end. On her last day, right before my kids and I left, I leaned in really close. I whispered in my mom's ear, Dad is with you now. You can go with him. It's okay. We understand. And I squeezed her hand and kissed her cheek and said goodbye. And my mom, who hadn't spoken in three days, whispered back, Bye. One last thing, maybe a couple of weeks <laughs> excuse me, before she passed, I made a short video of my mom. My sister and I had gotten back in contact with family in Austria, and I wanted to give my mom the opportunity to send a message to her sisters and everyone there. At the time, it seemed to be a message just for them, but I've since realized it was meant for all of us. She spoke in a mix of German and English. It was really sweet how she kept getting the two mixed up, but her message was clear. And these were her words. I love you. 
I will never forget you. She meant that for all of you. My mom loves you and she will never forget you. And mom, we love you too. And we will never, ever, ever forget you. <laughs> Thank you.